arrival on site. When you arrive on site, you will have to wear your PPE as described in our Personal Protection Equipment Protocol. In addition, you will be subjected to an alcohol test as we have a zero alcohol policy on site. For visitors visiting the mine, you will be required to sign in the register as this is a legal requirement as well as being subjected to a COVID-19 temperature test and complete a COVID-19 questionnaire form. If you are driving on site, when arriving at the designated driving spot, you will have to do reverse parking. This is in order to be able to evacuate as quickly as possible in case of an emergency. PPE – Personal Protective Equipment Before you arrive on site, we require you to wear full overall, your helmet, your goggles, your dust mask, your earplugs and safety boots. Without this equipment, you will not be allowed to enter site as we value your safety and health at all times. The PPE must be worn correctly and not partially as this defeats the purpose of our equipment. Example, masks that only cover the mouth, only one ear with plug-in, helmet not tightened. This is very important for your safety to protect you when you are on site. Fire Procedure In case of a fire breakout, we are equipped with fire extinguishers placed strategically all around the plant. Do not attempt to extinguish the fire yourself unless trained otherwise. Make your way to the nearest assembly point and wait for further instructions from your supervisor. It is very important not to panic. Walk fast instead of running as this could result in further injury. Don't try and grab your tools or belongings, but rather make your way to the closest assembly point. There are various fire marshals trained to be first responders in case of a fire, so please report any possible fire hazards to your supervisor. In case of an emergency, a siren will be activated. Please also take note a continuously siren will be for blasting and a ring interval will be for an emergency. Reporting of incidents and accidents At WIS Tin Mining Company, Reporting of incidents and accidents is something we regard highly in order to create a first response environment for everyone. Any small or big incidents need to be reported immediately to prevent similar situations from happening again. Incidents or accidents should be reported immediately to your immediate supervisor who will then report to the safety department. In case of an injury or you feel unwell, please report to your supervisor immediately your supervisor will accompany you to the on-site medic clinic. The medics will attend to you on-site. And please also take note that UTMC, in partnership with Dr. Mack, we are providing an online medical checkup and prescriptions. The doctor will speak to you online and will recommend medical prescriptions for you and the medics will issue the recommended medical prescriptions to you. Please also take note that you need to be in possession of your ID card and medical aid card to be assisted by the doctor online. Health and Hygiene on Site Everyone deserves the right to have access to a clean and hygienic facility. UTMC has a designated canteen area with benches where you can enjoy your break time meal, adjacent to a kitchen equipped with appliances that can assist with the heating, plating and serving of your food. Please do not eat in any other mine site areas. Male restrooms are located behind the laboratory, whilst female restrooms are located across from that. Ensure that once using these facilities, you leave it in a decent state for the colleagues that will be using it. Wash your hands thoroughly and return to your workstation. We have two designated smoking and vaping areas located on the mine site. Do not smoke anywhere else on site as this creates a health and safety hazard, not only for yourself but also for your teammates. The Uis Tin Mine Company is in a remote area that is the home of many snakes and sometimes they can be found on site. Not to worry, we have trained our own in-house snake handlers which can respond to these situations. High Risk We work in a high-risk mining environment. 
We depend on heavy machinery to complete our daily tasks. Therefore, it's important to know that all heavy mining machinery have the right of way all across our business. Please respect our speed limits on site and in the pit. Please take note that driving while speaking or using a cell phone is prohibited on site. All vehicles entering the pits should have a two-way radio communication, a bucky whip, and a rotating light used all around the mine on site. You have to note that all mining equipment have right of way in all instances. Avoid, prevent, and minimize the 10 life-saving rules. The 10 life-saving rules were recently introduced at the Uis Tin Mining Company due to the high regard placed on safety at the workplace and you are required to read these carefully and respect at all times in order to make sure you return home each day unhurt. Number 1. I'll never work 2 meters or above if I am not secured with a double land yard lifeline. This is very important as this is also a legal requirement for people working at heights to be secured. Number 2. I will never walk under a suspended load. We have a lot of lifting activities at the mine and no person is allowed to walk under a suspended load as this could fail, putting your life in danger. Number 3. I will always ensure that I will isolate before working on moving machinery and electrical equipment. This is a legal requirement and big safety risk. Anyone working on moving machinery and electrical equipment is required to do a lockout. Number 4. I will only operate equipment that I am licensed for. No person is allowed to operate any machinery unless they have formal training for that specific piece of equipment. Carry your operating license with you at all times as we will perform spot checks to ensure that all machinery is operated by qualified personnel. Number 5. I will never walk, work or park closer than 5 meters from a high wall in the open pit. Number 6. I will never start doing work without a risk assessment. Doing a risk assessment is a legal requirement and is mandatory before you start performing your tasks. Number 7. I will always stop work when my life is threatened. We value life over work. Whenever you feel that your life is in danger or that your working environment is hazardous, notify your supervisor immediately so we can rectify this situation. Number 8. I will never use a cell phone while operating mobile equipment. Number 9. I will never enter barricaded areas unless authorized. Number 10. I will always inspect my safety equipment and safety harness before use. Guidance and clear instructions. This is very important in terms of safety due to the fact that for any task that must be performed, clear instructions must be given and understood on the receiving end. This is to avoid misunderstandings that could lead to an injury or destruction of property. Speak clearly, explain clearly, and make sure the other person understood what you are saying. Housekeeping and waste management. UTMC has the environmental objectives and targets that have been developed so that activities on the site can minimize potential impacts on the environment as far as reasonably practicable. These objectives align to environmental and biodiversity performance standards and are applicable to all domains on site. They also form a foundation in developing specific objectives in each domain in the mine site. Zero Pollution Incidents Sustainable Resource Use Application of the Waste Management Hierarchy Sustainable Use of Water Responsible Disposal of Waste Responsible of Hydrocarbon Spill Management Minimize Aerial Discharges and Dust Being Generated Minimize Noise and Vibration Levels and Biodiversity Protection and Enhancement
UTMC values the safety of its employees and believes that every employee should return home from a day's work with no harm. Promoting a culture of safety in our workplace is an ongoing collaborative effort between the company and all employees. Uh, welcome to Eastern Mine. Uh, see you on site.